this morning as I read from God's Word, 2 Timothy chapter 4, I'll be reading verses 5 through 8. I'm going to go back one verse, uh, for I want to cover that last section of verse 5 as we move to these next few verses. And so I'm going to read from 2 Timothy chapter 4, verses 5 through 8. It's all part of this exhortation given to Timothy to be faithful in the call to be a minister of the gospel. As for you, Timothy, always be sober-minded, endure suffering, do the work of an evangelist, fulfill your ministry. For I am already being poured out as a drink offering, and the time of my departure has come. I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. Henceforth, there is laid up for me the crown of righteousness, which the Lord, the righteous judge, will award to me on that day, and not only to me, but also to all who have loved his appearing. Thus far, the reading of God's word, you may be seated. And let me pray now for the blessing of the preaching of it. Lord, we, would do, we do ask that this morning you might, by your spirit, speak Speak words of life that this word that has been given to the church in every age for teaching, for reproof, for correction, for training in righteousness, that we might be equipped, O Lord, equip us. That we might be, be your holy, devoted servants to love and good deeds, that you might be glorified and so the kingdom of Christ built here on earth as it is in heaven. We pray all of this in your name.